on the evening of Monday, March 8th, 2010, my supervisor from Goodwill was throwing a birthday party at a bowling lane. Dad took me there and we waited to meet with Suzanne when she was late arriving there. Dad asked Suzanne to pick me up from work the next day because he'll be out of town working himself. She said she would and she had to leave the party early because she had to get up early for a doctor's appointment. Before leaving, we danced for a minute. I was filming the dancing with my digital camera, laughing and giggling. She even gave me a kiss on the cheek before she left the party, which surprised me. I love you, she says. That made me feel special, made my heart melt inside me. Watching her say goodbye to Dad, she also gave him a kiss on his cheek. When Tuesday, March 9th, 2010 came, I called Suzanne the first thing when I woke to make sure she was going to pick me up. After all, it had been two times already that she had stood me up. And if she stood me up again, I wouldn't want anything to do with her because she also promised Dad she would pick me up after I got done with work. Again, she didn't answer her phone. I even wanted to leave a message for her on her voicemail, but there was a voice that said this user isn't expecting messages at this time. Again, she didn't answer. Oops. After getting ready, Dad and I were beginning to wonder if we should buy her a track phone because it appeared to us that when we tried calling her or texting her, she would never respond to us. My day at work went by fast. All I did was bake plastic hangers in back, just 12 to each bag, and put them in a separate pile. During my 2 o'clock break, I called Dad to ask him if Suzanne would be picking me up. He said that she is, but when he stopped over to her apartment, she answered the door looking all drugged up. She had so many candles inside her apartment, he was fearing she would knock some over with her wobbly walking, and the whole apartment building would catch fire. She said she'll make it, though, Dad says. When my shift was over, I walked out of the store, finding Suzanne in the parking lot. She was with a guy in his early 50s. He introduced himself as Mitch. She said he'll drive me home because she couldn't. Since she was, she was, she didn't feel good, feeling dizzy. During the ride home, Suzanne promised me that she'll come to my house on Wednesday to watch a movie. Mitch also had a golden retriever sitting up in the back seat next to Suzanne. Mitch told me that Stella, the golden retriever, had babies and asked if I wanted a puppy. No, I don't think Patty would get along, is what I said back to him. Waiting, wanting to film Stella on my digital camera, we tried to get her to bark. Give her a med, is what Suzanne said, jokingly laughing. I wanted to, sh to show my YouTube friend, Delay Pat, Stella, because he has a golden retriever also. Stella barked loudly a couple of times for Delay Pat to see. Mitch <coughs> asked me exactly where my house is, and Suzanne gave him directions before I could. 
shutting off my camera, I put it in my purse. Nora, look, breast milk, Suzanne says behind me when I was looking out the window at the passing buildings as we drove by. Not knowing what she was talking about, I turned around to face the back in time to see something shocking. I turned away quickly, finding myself disgusted with what I'd just seen. Seriously? Flashing me her breast at me? Did I really need to see that? No. When he parked by my house, Suzanne wanted to walk up to walk me up to my house. I let her, but still bothered by what happened, finding myself confused by it. Suzanne had to hang her arm around my shoulders in order to help her walk to my door. See you later, Nora, she said. I went inside. The rest of the night, I was still bothered by what happened. Why did she do that, is what I wondered. I tried to watch my online TV shows, trying to keep my mind off of that incident. Later that evening, Suzanne called me. I demanded her to tell me why she did that. Do what? Oh, look, breast milk. And you showed me her boob. Nora, it was a joke. No big deal. Don't tell your dad. He'll, he would only be angry at me. Because she sounded sincere, I decided to let it go. And Suzanne says again that she'll come the next day to watch a movie.